Hello everyone, another user here, and welcome back to another episode of Becoming a Billionaire. This is the 10th video in the series. I can't believe it's already the 10th. If you watched my last video, you will know that I ended around 150 mil, and you probably already know what I'm going to do in this video from the title, so let's get started. Real quick, I want to show you what gear I'm taking. I'm taking a Nate is Not Face Guard, Amulets of Torture, Fire Cape, Rada's Blessing, Dragon Hunter Lance, Bandos Top and Bottom, Dragon Defender, Ferocious Gloves, Primordial Boots, and a Berserker Ring imbued. I'm also taking a Dragon Warhammer for the special attack, but I'm not sure if it'll even make a difference, so I might end up leaving it. Runes to Alk and some house tabs. You can see here I have killed zero Adamant Dragons. I read the wiki and they only have one attack I need to watch out for, so it should be easy. Anyway, I want to bring you along for the first few kills so you can see what I'm about to go through for 10 hours, and I will show you the loot I get from one trip. Seems pretty straightforward. There's the poison attack. Whoops, I guess I need to move farther away. I do have a Dragon Hunter Lance with 99 attack, strength, and defense, so it shouldn't be bad at all. And you might be wondering why did I choose to kill Addy Dragons and not something better like Rune Dragons? Don't worry, I will explain myself very soon. Well, there you have it, nice and easy. I will be back to show you the loot. I was able to get 5 kills and 82k in loot. That trip took me like 5 minutes, and I just realized I forgot to start the timer. Well, anyway, I'll start it now. Why did I decide to kill Addy Dragons? Someone left a comment on my last video saying to do 10 hours of Addy Dragons. And at first I was like, no way I'm doing that. But I've been feeling a little burned out from Slayer. And I looked up the drops for Addy Dragons. And they are decent, but there's no real reason to kill these besides a chance at the Dragon Metal Slice. And that has a drop rate of 1 in 5,000. So it's very rare and I most likely won't get it. But let me tell you something that I just can't believe. I hit 1,000 subscribers. Really, dude, I can't believe it. I'm sure it's a little higher now, so I will add a screenshot with an updated number. Thank you so much. I know I've said it before, but I truly never thought more than a few people would ever see my videos. I'm really happy about it. 1,000 subscribers is like the main thing that every new person on YouTube wants to hit. So right now, I feel like anything is possible. I'm feeling extremely lucky, and the RNG gods are going to bless me with at least two Dragon Metal Slices. That's right, at least two of them. But really, it's not very likely. I'm just joking. But yeah, man, I actually hit 1,000 subscribers. So anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble. I will most likely cut a ton of clips because I'm sure you mainly want to see this very epic dragon loot. I decided to bring my Enchanted Lyre so I can bank a little easier. And I left the Dragon Warhammer since I wasn't really using it. Ah, man. One of these days, I'll become good at this game. Let's see how much this costs. 230k. Ah, oh, dude, that's going to cut into my profits big time. I need to pay closer attention. Just finished the first hour. These dragons aren't difficult. They just aren't very AFK, but so far so good. Nine more hours to go. Just over two hours and another death. RIP, another 230k. Dude, come on. I looked away for two seconds. That's already, what, like 690k just from dying? I'm done dying. I'm going to pay full attention. I'm finally realizing these dragons are not AFK at all. Let's try this again. Three hours, still no dragon metal slice, but I'm not giving up hope yet. There's still plenty of time left. Four and a half hours in, nothing has changed, but if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. And there's some things that I want to tell you. I keep forgetting to mention this, but I am completing all the clue scrolls I've been getting. I will add a screenshot of what I have completed so far, but basically I want to keep them until I'm closer to my one bill goal. And I hope the clue scrolls can push me over one bill. So yeah, I am doing them. I'm just saving them and I haven't really added any clue steps in the videos because I'm not really sure if anyone is interested in watching me complete clues. Also, if you want, you should come hang out in my clan chats. I have seen a few of you guys come and go and I completely understand why no one sticks around. My clan chat is dead, but I've never mentioned it in a video before. So yeah, if you guys ever want to come by and say what's up, I'm always in there when I'm online. So come join if you want. You are more than welcome, but no pressure. Halfway done with 10 hours. I'm starting to lose a little hope. I still have five hours to go, so you never know. Holy sh dude, no way. Are you seeing this? Five hours, 40 minutes in. Easy money, man. Just get the drop. It's that simple. No, I'm just kidding, but for real, what the hell? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, dude. I got the drop. Price tracker says 41.9 mil, but G tracker is saying 55 mil. And I'm pretty sure if I go make the Dragon Kite Shield, I can make more profit. So I will go make it. I got the drop on kill 325. And it's a 1 in 5,000 drop. Extremely lucky. I'm positive the RNG gods are looking out for me today. I'm still shook, I swear. I was just joking about getting two, but who knows, man. Hopefully I get two. I bought the Dragon Square Shield for 301k. 1.8 mil for the Dragon Metal Shard. 2.1 mil to make the shield. 
But I think I can sell it for more this way. Well, it turns out I can't make this on a normal anvil. I need to go to a place called the Dragon Forge. So let's go check it out and make this bread. I feel like I've been here before. I'm guessing for Dragon Slayer 2, but I can't remember. Anyway, 1000 smithing XP and I now have a super sick dragon kite shield. You can see there's two different prices showing 56.9 mil and 65 mil. I will go put this in for 65 mil and this will give me a profit of 62.9 mil from this one drop. Absolutely insane luck. Can I please get a nice in the comments? All right, let's get back to the grind. Four hours and 20 minutes left. I don't think anything is going to top that besides getting another one. So good luck to me. Seven hours in, I'm pretty tired of Addy Dragons right now, but I'm almost done. Dude, no way. I'm definitely going to die. Please reconnect. Well, I was able to log back in and I died. So rip another 230k. And this time it wasn't my fault. Down to the last little stretch. And I want to take this time to ask you guys some questions and give you a little update about my channel. I waited until the last bit of the video because if you're still watching right now, you are a real one. So you know, I recently hit 1000 subscribers and I was able to apply for the YouTube partnership program. And well, long story short, I was accepted after a few days and I can officially monetize my channel. Making money on YouTube was never my goal, but really I think it's crazy that I even made it this far. And I guess 2000 subscribers should be my next goal. But yeah, thank you everyone. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are great. I know I keep saying it, but truly, you guys are keeping me motivated and I really do enjoy reading all your nice comments. And one more thing, since I hit 1000 subscribers, I should be getting the community tab real soon. YouTube says it takes around one week to show up and I want to use that to hopefully interact with you guys more and I can put out some polls to see what kind of videos you want to watch. I'm pretty stoked to see what happens with my channel. So yeah, thank you everyone. Now let's check out the loot from 10 hours of adamant dragons. I was able to kill 580 Addy dragons in 10 hours. Not bad, I guess. Now let's add everything up. Rune light is showing 575 kills. I'm not sure what happened to the other five. It's showing 10.3 mil in loot and my supply cost is 2.94 mil. And I died four times bringing my total to about 3.8 mil. So without the dragon slice drop, that would be 6.5 mil for 10 hours. And that's about 650K profits per hour. So that's not too bad, but I did get super lucky. So let's go ahead and add 62.9 mil to this. This brings me to 69.4 mil. And that means I made 6.9 mil an hour. Now let's add this to my one bill goal. In my last video, I was around 150 mil. So this brings me to a total of 219 mil. The biggest dent I've made so far. I'm really happy I got that drop. And thank you Red for suggesting it. If you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as soon as I get the community tab, I will start using it. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.